You look good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Give it up for the band. That sounded great in the back. You like that? You know what? When they were playing that last song, my white guy classic started kicking in. <laughs> I was saying to myself, go along with me. I love rock and roll. Put another dime in a jukebox, baby. I love rock and roll. Put another dime in a jukebox, baby. I know. I mean, I, we all know you can rap. Who knew you did Joan Jett, too? Oh, I, I, I got him a take. These broken wings. Well, I know you like that one. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is like some kind I of. I see your truth. <laughs> wow. Hey, He's a man eater. Do, 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 do. I got them all. All the notes and everything. Yes, wow. I yeah. I love it. You really should think about recording a, a full album <laughs> of <laughs> song, a balance, you know? Should 80s hits. Mills, white guy classics. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you were here, I want to thank you again. You filled in for me as yes. host of the show when my, my son was out. <laughs> How is your son, by the way? He's good? My son is doing great. How is yes. your son doing? Your son had heart surgery as well. My son is excellent. And great. During that time. <laughs> during the time, it was very traumatic. Yeah. And on the way to the surgery, he was very nervous, so I had to make up something. So this is a story I made up, because he was shaking and trembling. I said, hey, you're about to go to surgery. It's going to be a beautiful nurse come in. Her name is Anesthesia. <laughs> He's like, who is anesthesia? I said, you won't remember. <laughs> so when he woke up, he said, Dad. I was like, yeah, so I, I mean, but he, he's good. You know, is he going to be playing for UCLA this season? Yes, yes. He's oh, so he is doing really well. Yeah. yeah, well, that's great. I'm, glad, I'm very glad to hear that. And, uh, and you, now, your son got something. He got another procedure done. He got a tattoo on his calf yes. of, of you, of his father. <laughs> now, this. How old is your son? 19. Did he go to you and say, I'd like to do this, or he just do it and tell you about it? Well, when they, when my boys, when they get 18, I give them a bag, I give them $200, and I said, nice to meet you. <laughs> Pick him up. So he's a man, he's an adult, he's, he's a great kid, he never gives me any problems. This is a, uh, this is the photo that is, it's based on. Now, this is from, this is one, of, it, this is one of your best games ever, right? Yes, it was. Game seven, 2000, against Portland. So he was two years old. Okay. I, I didn't even know he could talk. So I'm, I'm, I'm downstairs, you know, eating, eating my meal, and he comes to me and he says, Daddy, win. Like, that's the first thing he, you know, that's the first thing he ever said to me. I'm like, you can talk? <laughs> so, you know, we get in the game and we're down, and then, you know, B-Shaw, Kobe, you know, Big Shot Bob, we start to come back, and then Kobe throws me the great lob, I catch it down, I was like, I won, baby. So, so you're, you know, oh, geez, I have the wrong picture here. You yes. were pointing at your son here. Yes, yes. Now, why was your son up in the nosebleed seats? <laughs> because I couldn't afford the four seats. <laughs> <laughs> Who will be better this year, the Lakers or the Clippers? <laughs> what do you think? Listen. <laughs> I got to go with the Lakers. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, L.A. has always been a very exciting city, but the next year basketball season is going to be very exciting. It is going to be a lot of very, fun. Very exciting. But I'm Lakers. Purple and gold. Lakers guy. Yes. And you think... But you're saying that you're because you're biased for the Lakers or because you just think that they're Even gonna... when the Lakers have a bad team, like they did last year, uh -huh. with the Lakers. If you were playing right now, which team would you rather be on? Not one of those teams. <laughs> You know, no, I went in Milwaukee man, or something. <laughs> I'm from, I'm from the era where guys wanted to compete and you know beat each other. So uh -huh. I would wait and see you know who's who's teaming up and doing that. And I would go on the team that needs a superstar and I teach them guys how to beat the super teams. Why do you think? Kawhi Leonard, um, you know, it, it became obvious that he wanted to come to L.A. Why do you think he chose the Clippers over the Lakers? Because Jerry West is a master. Because Jerry West, Jerry, who works for Jerry, the Clippers Jerry, now. Jerry West is a master. Jerry West knows how to read people, and he probably had a conversation with him and 
Probably was just straight up with him. Is that yeah. what he did with you, Jerry yes. West? Because, uh, you know, when I was in Orlando, Lakers wasn't even in a position. And I had one conversation with, with Jerry, and, and, and Jerry just came up with a piece of paper. He said, you want the good news or the bad news? I said, I'll take the bad news. He said, we can't get you 150. And I said, well, what's the good news? We can get you 120. Give me that damn paper. <laughs> <laughs> Real smooth. And you know what's crazy? It was the first time I met him. First time I met him. And he's that good. That he's yeah, that charismatic. He's really and well, he's, he's at really Golden good. State before he was with yeah. the Clippers. And he does. There seems to be a magic that follows him everywhere. He, it, like, I remember when he got rid of Vlade, and it was like, oh, you're getting rid of Vlade for this kid, Kobe Bryant, that people don't really even, you know, he's, he's what, 17 years old at the time. Yeah, was, it seemed crazy. Great. So you think Jerry was the guy. Is that the gentleman from Louisiana? <laughs> Yeah, that guy's from Louisiana. He works in a... He makes shampoo. I've been using your product for a long time. <laughs> I'll see you in court, buddy. Shaquille O'Neal is you here. You got a new restaurant. We'll be right back. I told him I didn't want to get a, a certain vehicle because of the amount of gas I would have to spend. Yeah. It cost like $80. To, to fill it to up. To fill it up. up. And he right. said... Then you said... When it gets to half, then you put $20, you bring it back to full. <laughs> Yeah. But if I keep doing I would have to stop off and still no, spend 80. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. Why? You're complaining about when it gets to zero, you spend 80, right? When it gets to half, you put 20. Then when it gets back to half, you put 20. Yeah, but, but I'll keep half. stopping, putting 20 in, and it'll be cool. 80, Kidding. the same amount of gas. Kidding. Yeah. I'm Kidding. driving the Kidding. same amount of gas. The average human stops once a week for gas, right? With you, you only work here twice. You would probably have to stop maybe, maybe once every two weeks. <laughs> Don't even try <laughs> A lot of logic, not a lot of math, but a lot of logic going there. It's that, what, that, to me, is one of the funniest shows on television. I know it's supposed you. to be about sports, but yes. yeah, I love it. They allow us to utilize a lot of humor. Yeah. And, you know, Ernie's sort of like you, very intelligent, very straightforward. Kenny, we have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Charles is going to say whatever, and I'm going to say whatever. This Do you and Charles re really like each I other? Hate, where, where's the camera? <laughs> Charles Barkley, I hate you. <laughs> I hate Charles Barkley. You you got a new restaurant here in Matter LA. of fact, can yep. I get the recipe for that shampoo so I can give it to Charles? <laughs> Charles, I got a present for you. <laughs> Shaquille's is the new place. It's at yes. LA Live over by the Staples Center. Is this something you've wanted to do for a while? Well, I've been in a restaurant business for a while. I own five restaurants in, in, in Vegas. Uh, mm -hmm. Hex, Alexa, Bear Park. I uh, just opened up uh, something called Big Chicken, but I always wanted to do something here in L.A. And a spot opened up at uh, L.A. Live, and it's very busy down there. And next year, I'm going to have a great year with the Clippers and the Lakers going at it. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> you, um, on the menu, I was looking at the menu, you have a Shaq burger and you have a Kobe burger. Yes. Which one is better? The Shaq burger. <laughs> Does the Kobe burger come with more onion rings? That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, one more. <laughs> is the Kobe burger Kobe beef or is it? Yes, it's Kobe it is. Beef. Yes, oh, and yes, then so Kobe you got beef. the Kobe beef for his burger, or the burger that's yes. kind of named after him, or actually he's named after the burger, I think. And then the regular grade beef is named after you. Right. Which one is more expensive? I think the Kobe burger. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> you really. You really put your ego aside for this restaurant, yes, didn't you? Aside from calling it Shaquille's, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, have you ever worked, like, in a restaurant? I know you're an owner and I stuff. I worked at McDonald's one day. You did? For one day? Yeah, when, when I was a youngster, my father said, you babysit your siblings or you go to work. So I'm not babysitting no kids. I went to work one day, and I was like, I quit. <laughs> that's, that's why, like, I respect the people that... that have real jobs. Yeah, well, sure. Know, that's, you know, that's hard, hard work. Did they have a uniform for you at McDonald's that fit? Yeah, they did. They did? They did. Really? They, had, yeah. they didn't have to special order that? And you know why I, got, why I quit? Why? I got caught stealing fries. You did? <laughs> <laughs> Is that even really stealing? I thought you could eat for free when you worked at a restaurant no, like McDonald's. Not where I worked. No, not <laughs> yours. <laughs> Not where I work. I hear a lot of uh, interesting stories about you. I want to run just some quick things. You can say yes, no. You can follow okay. up if you want, all right. all right? Is it true you eat dessert first at every meal? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that going to be an option at the restaurant? Yes. <laughs> it will be, okay. Is it true you tried to bring a samurai sword on an airplane? Yes. And they <laughs> carry on or checked? Carry on. Carry on luggage. <laughs> 
Is it true you took a full-sized NBA Jam stand-up arcade game on the road with you? My whole rookie season. The whole season? Yes. That would travel with you? Well, on In the your plane. pocket, or would you have some guys do it? On the plane. <laughs> All right. You owned a white tiger named uh, Diesel that nearly killed you? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what happened to Diesel? Well, I saw him one week, and he was a kitten, and I came back. He was the same size as Charles Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> I had to uh, gift them to us. I had to say goodbye. You have the world's largest bed. Yes. How do you know it's the largest bed in the world? Because I say it is. <laughs> <laughs> and is it true you tried to buy six flags? Yes. <laughs> what happened? I didn't have enough money. <laughs> well, Shaquille, is, he's got enough money to open a restaurant. It's open now at LA Live here in Los Angeles, California. Shaquille O'Neal, everybody. Thank you, Chef. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Uh-oh-oh. Oh, oh.